Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported all the files required for this project, you can download them from the below link in the description. This complete After Effects template is also available on my store, link is given in the description. Now let's see how to create this logo reveal. Create a new composition, I will name this composition as Glossy Logo. Here I will set time duration for this composition to, 6 seconds. Now let's add the grudge media file to the timeline, pre-compose it. Select move all attribute into new composition. Name it as grudge. Hide this grudge composition. Now add the reflection media file to the timeline. Scale it to, 40%. For this media file, in effects and preset, search for motion tile. Add it to the reflection media file. Increase the output width and height to fill up the screen, select mirror edge. Now make sure you are at start, create keyframe for tile center. Now at end of the timeline, adjust the position of tile center as shown. Now in effects and preset, search for fast box blur. Add it to the reflection layer. Set blur radius to, 35. Iteration to, 1. Let's place motion tile below. For box blur, select repeat edge pixels. Perfect. Let's pre-compose this reflection layer. I will name it as reflection. From project panel, add the logo to the timeline. Scale your logo if needed, here I will scale my logo. Let's pre-compose it. Name it as logo. Perfect. Now for reflection composition, change track mat to, alpha mat logo. For reflection composition. In effects and preset. Search for CC glass. Add it to the reflection composition for glass. In surface, change bump map to logo. Change property to, alpha. Set softness to, 40. Change height to, minus 95. Set displacement to, 440. Now in effects and preset, search for compound blur. Add it to the reflection composition. For compound blur, Set blur layer to grudge. Set maximum blur to, 7. Select invert blur. Now in effects and preset. Search for CC blobble eyes. Add it to the reflection composition. In blowiness, change blob layer to, logo. Set property to, alpha. Set softness to, 8. Cut away to, 0. For reflection composition, change mode to, screen. Press T to bring up opacity. Go up 2 seconds. Create keyframe for opacity. Now at start of the timeline, change opacity to, 0%. Perfect, now from project panel, let's add the logo composition to the timeline. Press T to bring up opacity, at 3 seconds and 15 frames. Create keyframe for opacity. At 1 second and 15 frames, change opacity to, 0%. Now place logo composition below reflection composition. 
perfect, our glossy logo is created. Now if you want to make this as golden logo, then you need to create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for right tone. Add it to the adjustment layer. Here you need to set the mid-tone color. First hide this logo composition, for golden logo you don't need this layer. Now adjust the color to get perfect golden look. Perfect, here I will just keep the original logo, let's continue with the next step. Here our golden part is created, now let's create a new composition. Name it as logo reveal. Now from project panel, add the floor texture media file to the timeline, here we need to change this floor texture media file to 3D. Press R to bring up rotation, set X rotation to, minus 90 degrees. Now let's position it, position it below as shown. Now for this texture, in effects and preset, search for motion tile. Add it to the floor texture. Increase the output width and height as shown. Here you are free to adjust the position and width and height as well. Select mirror edges. In effects and preset, search for tint. Add it to the floor texture. Now let's create a new solid layer. For this solid layer, create rectangle mask as shown. For mask 1, increase the mask feather value. Slightly adjust the mask expansion value. Perfect. Here our floor is created, now select all the layers. Pre-compose them. Name it as floor. Now let's hide this floor composition. From project panel, let's add the glossy logo composition to the timeline. Add the floor composition. For glossy logo. Change mode to add. For glossy logo, change track mat to, luma mat floor. Now change both layer to 3D. For glossy logo composition, let's adjust the position. Now press R to bring up rotation, set X rotation to, 100 degrees. Here you need to adjust the shadow position according to the logo. Now let's create duplicate of this glossy logo and floor composition. For glossy logo. In effects and preset. Search for turbulent displace. Add it to the logo composition, for displace, set amount to, 380. Set size to, 2. Now in effects and preset. Search for fast box blur. Add it to the logo composition. Set blur radius to near about 90. Set iteration to, 1. Select repeat edge pixels. For glossy logo, let's adjust the X rotation value, set it to, 150 degrees. Press S to bring up scales, unlink scales, adjust the scale value for X axis, set it to near about, 170. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for compound blur. Add it to the adjustment layer. For blur, set blur layer to, floor. Set maximum blur to, 50. 
select invert blur, perfect. Here our floor and shadow part is created. Now from project panel, let's add the glossy logo composition to the timeline. Let's create duplicate of this glossy logo. For duplicate glossy logo, go to layer, now select auto trace. Hit OK, this will auto trace our logo layer. For glossy logo. From video copilot, select Seba. Select preset, neon. In customize core, set type to, layer mask. Here you can set outline color according to the logo color. Set glow intensity to, 15%. Now at start of the timeline, create keyframe for mask evolution. Go at 3 seconds and 15 frames, set mask evolution to 1. That is 360 degrees. Set end size to 50%. Now at start, create keyframe for end offset, set end offset to 0%. Now at 2 seconds, change end offset to 75%. For glossy logo, press U to view created keyframes. Select Saba keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now for glossy logo, press T to bring up opacity, at 2 seconds. Create keyframe for opacity, set opacity to 75%. At 3 seconds and 15 frames, change opacity to 0%. For glossy logo, change mode to Add. Now from this glossy logo, we will copy these mask layers. Now paste it for below glossy logo. You can see the masks. Now let's copy this Sabre effect. Make sure you are at the start, now paste the Sabre effect for below glossy logo composition. Let's change all compositions to 3D. Create a new camera layer. Now create a new null object. Change null to 3D. Parent camera to null object. For null press P to bring up position. Now at end of the timeline, create keyframe for position. Now at start of the timeline, increase the Z position value as shown, set it to near about, 600. From project panel, let's add the flare media file to the timeline. For flare media, change mode to add. Now let's add cinematic frames. Create a new solid layer. Name it as frame. Make sure fill color is set to black. Double click on this rectangle tool to create mask. For mask 1, change shape, set unit to, percent of source. Set top to, 10%, bottom to, 90%. Select inverted. Now let's see the complete preview. Perfect. Here our glossy logo is created, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. See you next week with another awesome tutorial. Thank you.